Welcome to Elite New Invasion. Level 21. So the enhancements are finalized. I decided to go with the displacement as I discussed. And then I swapped out the displacement spell for Darkness Corporation. This can have some benefits when I'm tanking because it gives you 25% corporeality and damage from all sources except untyped and bane damage is reduced by 50% um, during the duration of it which is 20 seconds so it's a good oh shit button and so I filled out the inherent the innate line and got my constitution going on and then over here nothing's different from last video so I'm all in with the enlightened spirit and soul leader and nothing else We'll take a look at the gear. Still got the smoke green steel goggles. Now I have the breastplate of the shining sun. This comes from the cleric trader in Evening Star. For a handful of commendations, you can get this. It's not a bad medium armor option for level 20. It's got resistance 6, vitality 20, power healing 2 is not benefiting me. But, um, you know, it's not bad. A little bit, it was like one higher armor bonus than the hardened hide armor. Strength 7, Dodge 7 on the Bracers, Good Luck 2, Evocation Focus 2, Crafted Ring, still got the Kundrak Delving Boots, still got the Dashing Gloves, uh, I got Sonic Lore, actually I don't need Sonic Lore, I already got that in the gloves, but Dexterity 7, I didn't really have anything else to put there. Mineral 2 Belt, this is a another Night Singer's Mantle, this is the Elite version, which has two slots. Mine says minimum level 20 because I have Diamonds of Constitution and Charisma plus 6. Normally this is a level 15 item without the augments. Perform 15, Blindness Immunity, and Night Singer are the same. I think the old version was the normal version I was Perform 13, but the Blindness Immunity and the Night Singer are the same. So got the Empowered Dragon Scale going on, and the Silver Flame Talisman, and the Pansophic Circlet. Fanion is the same, now I have a plus 6 uh, Radiant 99, Battle Axe of Radiance 49. So just got more uh, light and alignment spell power there. I've actually never done a video of this quest, which is why I wanted to do it. I did a video of just the end fight, but I wanted to do the whole quest. I did that video of the end fight, I think, in the beginner's guide? the ginger spice build maybe so if you're not familiar with the new invasion this is one of the quests out here in Shavroth that is a little mazy and you basically just want to pick a wall left to right and follow it until you find the exit to the next level there are three levels of maze and it's just there's just a hole you jump down but in this first level you can find this portal which I did right away which is basically a shortcut to level 2 but if you take this portal you're going to drop into an ambush so make sure you can handle that if you're going to take that portal it can be pretty intense you know if you're in here on a first lifer or something you know when you're like level 17 or 18 this ambush can can really be intense of course level 21 multi lifer warlock you know you just smoke it so now I'm on level 2, and I'm just going to pick a wall, I'm going to follow it. Any lever you come across in this entire quest, you can pull it, it just, it just opens up the gates. And there are prisoners on this level. Now if you haven't played this game in a while, they changed, you used to be able to double up on the prisoners. Like if two people talk to them at the same time, you could get credit for two, and therefore you could, you could complete the optional with half the effort. Well they, they fixed that like a couple years ago. So you can't double up on them anymore, and so it really takes a lot of time to try to get all those prisoners. And it's just level two here. See this lever, just toggle this gate. Don't be afraid to pull any levers in this quest. It's not like Genesis Point, where pulling certain levers can totally screw you. So, you know, it can take a lot of time to get all the prisoners. You're only on level two, but if you're doing, you know, if you're with like a full group and you got a couple people that don't mind hanging back and just staying here to do the prisoners, well, that can, that can work. 
but, I, but if you're soloing it, I, w I wouldn't recommend trying to take the time. It is a decent amount of XP, but I, I still don't think it's worth the time. So I'm just following the left wall, and it will eventually take me to an exit to the next level. And there can be some named mobs. And there are some more ambushes. Flagged for Demon Queen. Then I did Epic Demon Queen pre-raid and raid with the guild, and then we did a Legendary Shroud, and I just smoked right by level 20. So I haven't really done much. That's, that's really all I've done since reaching level 20 is the DQ stuff and then Legendary Shroud. I talked before how I like to do the Legendary Shroud flagging on Heroic, so that's the, those are the one quests that I'll actually do. That, are, that can be run on Epic, I'll actually run them on Heroic, so that way, right at level 20, oh, you know, I can jump into a Legendary Shroud. And we just did no Legendary Normal tonight, so I felt comfortable taking a level 20 in there. And so this is... You know, I, I really don't know if this is truly random or if it's just that there are certain variables. But it's kind of funny. Sometimes you'll come across a room that's gated and the lever to open up the gate is on the other side of the gate. But the only thing in that room is the lever. You know, it's like a dead end room. But it's the way that it was coded. That's some of the random results that you get. <laughs> Hey, here's a red name, or orange name. I am in running an unyielding sentinel, by the way, so let me show you what twists I'm using. This is the same setup as before. This is actually the exact same setup that I use on Ginger Spice. I really like Renewal. It's a great healing option. And for the, my twists, got Empyrean Magic, absolute must-have for an Enlightened Spirit, or really any caster that's doing light or alignment damage, that's really, really awesome. I guess fire, light, or healing is what I should say. It's, it's, it's whenever you cast a fire, light, or healing spell, that's when you gain your stacks of Empyrean Fervor. And so it's, and then you can get up to 10 stacks, so it's 20 universal spell power and 10% Spell crit chance. I mean, it's just giant. Must have for Enlightened Spirit. Fey form. I got a little bit of DR7 there. Slash Cold Iron and 15 Universal Spell Power. Healing Cocoon, more, uh, or Rejuvenation Cocoon for more healing. And Ephemeral Evolution. So this is kind of like a miniature version of um, Deific Awarding. It's just, just a tier 1 twist, and it comes out of Primal Avatar right here. And it says when you take physical damage, you gain plus 1. PRR for three seconds stacks up to 15 times, so you can get up to 15 more PRR. So you take a lot of hits. That's a nice little bonus. You know, I, I could have done like radiant spell power to get 30 light spell power. But, you know, whatever. Whatever you want. I'm not really. The only options I'm. The only twist that I'm really married to is. Empyrean Magic. The others I just sort of swap out to whatever I feel like. We found level 2 right away, but I'm having some bad luck on level 2. I'm going to end up having to go through the whole damn dungeon to 
find the exit. And the end fight is pretty tricky. I mean, that's why I did a video. Actually, it was one of my first videos. So, uh, like, two years ago. And, you know, it, 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 it is tricky. You know, it's, it's good to know how to do that. It's like something's going on over here. Learn the names of your shop route symbol. You will need to communicate to your party sometimes. These symbols appear throughout the quests out here. And this is JKL. How do you get that? J K L. So this looks like one of those rooms. Yep, it's just a little dead end room. And the lever to open the gate is on the other side, so you can't even you can't even get into this room. Keep going. Unless this opens it. Does that open it? Who knows what that does? Ooh, beholder. Pale lavender on. Looks like he debuffed me before I got it on. You can cast all your little stricken and stuff, even in Beholder Anti Magic, which is awesome. And of course, you can burst in Beholder Anti Magic. JKL again. Mostly helpful for when you're trying to communicate to another party member in Genesis Point when they're up top and they're letting you through the maze. But you know, if you if you know. If, you, if you're very familiar with that quest, even if you don't, I mean, you can just start pulling levers and you'll eventually get the right thing to come down. like it's one of the places that the exit could have been. Now I've heard, I remember at least one person telling me a while back that there are ways to tell if you're on the right path. You know, there are like these blue sort of lights, swirly lights or something. I, I really don't know. If any of the, uh, the video viewers know. I'd love to hear about it. I always just follow a wall. So here's our exit to level 3. Just gonna kill all this trash. And jump down. And then it's just another maze. You know, just like level 1 and 2. I'm gonna follow the left wall.
There's RJ. See, R, J. Or some people call it double E because it looks like two capital E's right there. Those are all RJ double E's. This symbol is not a symbol that's used in Genesis Point, at least not for anything functioning. There's your one shrine in the quest. Actually, it, there are two shrines. Actually, <laughs> there might even be more. Sometimes there's a shrine at the end. Shrine at the beginning, there's that shrine, and then there's the shrine that may or may not be there at the end. Yesterday I made three videos in one day, and today this is my second one. I, I normally only make like maybe a video a day, but I was just a video making fool. Definitely had higher energy in yesterday's video. yesterday's videos. I'm all tired right now. I'm a little tired of this maze. Alright, so there was a shrine and a locked chest. Alright, so we're going to jump down into a circular room. It is best that you solo this. If you have multiple people down there, it triggers, it keeps triggering the traps and it just turns into a cluster. One person if possible. You're going to have a bunch of trash, which includes bearded devils and air elementals. Chain shape is great for clearing these up. You, what you want to do is learn to run backwards in a circle, like this. And what you're wanting to do here is there's a trap 
basically looks like a portal that appears on the floor, and you want to stay ahead of that. It's going to be rotating around the zone. It's going to move from, from, what is? I guess I'm in a hexagon. It's going to move from, you know, like one segment of the hexagon to the next, and it's going to keep rotating around. I'm going to stand still for a minute, so you can see. See, there it is, right there. You want to get the hell away from that. You also want to make sure that you have ways to cure poison, disease, and curse. If you have dots, that's great. If you have blade barrier, that's great. Oh no! Negative levels. live with them. Remnant. If you get if you get these uh the chains you can use your misty escape to move quickly to get out of the way of the trap. What the hell is he attacking? Uh oh, I'm gonna get blasted by the trap. And he's dead. That's how you do it. Just run backwards in a circle and dot them up or, you know, range them or whatever. If you're here with the party and, the, you know, if there's multiple people down here, what you got to do is you got to move together. You know, if, if, so, if you're bringing melees down here, let's say you, all you have are melees, okay? You can still do it. You just got to be very disciplined, okay? You don't want people running all over the place. It's a giant mess. So, like, you would DPS them here for literally just a few seconds and then you would say move. And everybody, you know, you tell them to move counterclockwise or whatever, you know, you have a plan. And he comes over here, literally just DPS him for a few seconds, then move. And you're just going to keep doing that to each segment. DPS him a few seconds, move. A few seconds, DPS, move. So that's how you want to do it with a melee party. Much easier if you have a caster that knows what they're doing. Thanks for watching. you have any questions about my videos, you can respond on YouTube. If you have questions about the Voodoo Warlock build, you can respond in the Warlock forum. The build that I have posted there is different than what I'm doing here. The build posted there is what I typically go with, which is the Enlightened Spirit and, and uh, Tainted Scholar route instead of the Soul Eater. And if you are on Sarlona, you're welcome to send me a tell.